Hello, uh, I'm Tarun Lala. I'm uh, the co-founder and executive director at FansArt. Uh, we are the largest designer fan brand in India. Uh, through this video, I quickly wanted to give you an introduction to FansArt and the world of designer fans, uh, our products, and uh, why we do what we do. Uh, first things first, uh, we, we are currently living in uh, some weird times and I hope everybody is um, safe, sane and sound at home. Um, I'll quickly get on with it. So <clears throat> what you see on your screen right here is a fan. Of course, there is um, an LED chandelier that surrounds the fan. Uh, the fan itself is... Um, uh, consists of what we call vortex plates and of course the problem statement here is that above a dining table where uh, people inevitably give one point uh, they want a lovely looking chandelier or usually a light piece uh, but they miss out on the functionality of a fan and that's always been a problem uh, so here what we've done is we've we've um, integrated a fan inside the led chandelier which is only partially visible uh, and uh, the LED chandelier itself comes with three colors of LEDs, uh, comes with a dimmer, comes with a remote control, um, which, uh, you know, with a, and has a fan with a DC motor, so it takes only roughly 22 watts of power, um, comes with a remote control, and has some amazing features like fans art, summer winter feature, and so on and so forth. Um, all of these things that I quickly rushed through, I will be going into... Uh, for a brief moment introducing all these features so no worries there but of course the idea of introducing this fan which is called the wind flower um, is to show you that uh, this is something absolutely phenomenal gorgeous um, functionally um, it adds it adds functionality to a place which never had functionality before um, and um, and you know is, is something that is um, is very new to our market. Uh, it's it's um, started off as a vitamin product, but I think let me let me take you over the whole thing, and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Um, this was our problem statement, right? Fans were uh, bland and boring, and uh, you know looked exactly like that—a white piece of electrical product. And you know any any sort of design on a product like that were merely a color change or a wallpaper like sticker on top of the fan blades um, and this is what we changed it into now if you see this this is beautiful it's gorgeous um, it comes with a beautifully handcrafted wooden blades which can be polished uh, comes with a dc motor which i'll get into in a bit but um, the first thing you can notice about the fan is it's beautiful and it, it goes with the interiors Homes are, um, you know, um, homes are getting creative. Uh, interior design is itself uh, evolving as as a subject, uh, and um, something like this is is absolutely gorgeous. Um, it's functional as well, but uh, the fir first things first, what you notice about it is it's visually very appealing, and it accentuates the design of the interiors definitely compared to this. Um, and so, you know, the first thing we wanted to make sure was that we had enough um, designs to suit all kinds of home interiors that are homes with, uh, you know, classical heritage, you know, vintage looks and there are homes with modern contemporary looks. Um, and so, of course, we had uh, Meet Picasso, which is our vintage wooden fan with beautiful, uh, you know, stained glass uh, lighting and housing in the middle with uh, beautiful wooden blades. Um, now we have, uh, you know, multiple types of wood, birch wood, and, um, uh, you know, a, a lot of them inevitably come with, uh, you know, a burgundy finish or a walnut finish. This is called the pine. That was pine plus, which you saw earlier. This is like a contemporary wooden fan. We have fans which are modern. Uh, some of them are, this is spelling mistake here, some of them are glossy and some of them are beautiful matte finish Scandinavian look, looks as well. Uh, meet Atom, which is a wall mount. There are fans that could be wall mounted and fans that could be ceiling mounted. No matter how ridiculously high your ceilings are. 
At FansArt, we also um, introduced the concept of fandeliers. What you see right in the middle is the windflower that you saw in the start. Uh, this is a beautiful chandelier fan, uh, fandelier. Uh, and the ones you see on both the sides, the crystal that you see uh, with the bottom view and the Venetian that you see at the side view are both crystal fandeliers because they both have crystal um, chandelier pieces uh, and the crystal has uh, six uh, beautiful high quality ABS blades suspended while the Venetian is a 14 blade collapsible fan. Um, they're absolutely beautiful. So on one end of the spectrum we have uh, fandeliers and on the other end of the spectrum we have uh, minimalist uh, looking fans. This is the bowl series by Fansart which is a little more economical, a lot more functional. Um, and uh, beautiful matte finished Scandinavian pieces because uh, we inevitably see that some people, most people that want to spend a little more on fans for their living room, drawing rooms, dining table, so on and so forth, want more simpler but smart looking pieces for their bedrooms. Comparatively, to give you an idea of the price, um, the crystal fandelier uh, are more in the 70, 80 grand uh, the Windflower being around 45 when the Alpha Race Vienna are around the 10, 11 uh, thousand mark. Outdoor ceiling fans, which are semi outdoor and outdoor, they come with rattan blades. Um, and they're um, absolutely beautiful. You know, some of the work that uh, has been done on the fans are beautifully handcrafted from the housing to the blades. Uh, but let it not fool you, uh, the breeze on all of these is excellent, especially this fan, the basil. Uh, the breeze is excellent and we'll get into the functionality of the fan as well. The second thing uh, about the fan after the visual appeal is the specific use cases. Now we didn't want fans just to be able to accentuate design, but specific use cases. So we have fans which are smaller in size. Uh, this guy is called the Papu. Uh, it's pretty funny because um, a lot of times, you know, most of our fans are, you know, the Venetian and Vatican and Picasso and Tiffany and Mona Lisa and all these beautiful names. Uh, but in India, people um, mostly uh, remember the Papus and the Chotus. Um, so the Papu is a small size. We like to call it pocket size powerhouse because it goes at 400 RPM, comes with a beautiful LED. It's great for smaller rooms, walk-in wardrobes. Uh, in the northern parts of India where it gets really, really warm. Uh, people put it in kitchens and bathrooms as well. Beautiful, um, you know, remote control fan. The Chotu and uh, the Buddy come as uh, beautiful remote control uh, table fans, table smart fans even. Uh, 3D oscillating, which I'll get into in a minute. We have office solutions. The Invento is a two by two recessed fall ceiling fan. While the picture doesn't uh, show it uh, very accurately, uh, this fan fits into your tile and grid ceiling perfectly and it goes into, uh, you know, your back offices of hotels, uh, any corporate office that has a two by two grid or tile ceiling. The Invento has another version that goes into POP and gypsum uh, ceilings as well. Um, that's uh, predominant in your kitchens, bathrooms, uh, even sometimes kids rooms that have bunk beds and you don't have enough clearance for a ceiling fan. We have the most premium mist fan in the market, great for the hospitality industry. Um, the Aquajet is a six foot five inch giant that uh, addresses about 1000 square feet and reduces uh, the ambient temperature of a place by up to eight degrees. Uh, we thought they would be great for restaurants and rooftops and outdoor areas, gardens and so on and so forth. But very quickly it started expanding to resorts, hotels, manufacturing units, derby, stadiums, so on and so forth. Excellent product goes on for up to 15 hours. Um, dining table, like like we mentioned earlier, what you see on your left is a retractable blade, a blade that hides inside and then sort of uh, retracts in and out when you need it to. The one you see in the middle is Newton, very similar to Windflower, it has Vortex blades. And the one you see to the far right is, um, is called the Shadow. Um, this software is cool, I can actually uh, mentioned this is what's called the retractable fan this is called the Newton and uh, this guy over here is the shadow anyway I'm done messing around with this um, but yeah dining tables 
and uh, you know getting into the functionality of it uh, while uh, you know we managed to bring in 110 designer fan models uh, that are beautiful in their own way and a lot of them um, you know address specific use cases um, I think how it works is very very important without having a very good function um, you know functioning uh, product and a high quality product at that one we couldn't have built a sustainable business um, talking about building a sustainable business uh, recently on March 25th we completed eight years uh, the starting of a business that we weren't sure was going to work uh, because it needed a big change of um, behavior uh, and adoption from the market uh, we're actually very happy uh, that we've completed eight years um, but anyway, moving on. Uh, so a lot of people believe that um, the faster the fan goes, the better air it gives. Um, it's not incorrect. It's just incomplete. The RPM does matter, but it's the third thing. Um, you know, the CFM, which is a unit of uh, air displacement or breeze, um, is... Um, you know, is a unit of, uh, is a function of three different things and RPM is number three. The size of the blade, which is the length of the blade itself is the first. The effective blade pitch, which is the angle of the blade is the second one. And the RPM is the third one. So by toying with all these three, not only have we been able to have some of the breeziest fans, uh, but some of the highest CFM fans in the country as well. Um, one of the uh, we have videos playing and what I'll do is I'll I'll create separate videos specifically for unique blade angle uh, and uh, whisper quiet and so on and in summer winter uh, but uh, we've been able to achieve a beautiful like a unique blade angle talking about the effective blade pitch um, it has uh, toying with these three parameters have allowed us to achieve a higher airflow and also absolute whisper quiet our fans are under 40 decibels um, they're completely whisper quiet. Uh, I know there are a lot of uh, fans in the market that claim to be whisper quiet. They're not um, because you can still hear them. Uh, here you can't hear them at all. If you walk into one of our showrooms and you turn on all the fans, you still may not be able to hear um, any of the fans. Um, the summer winter feature is actually a beautiful um, and unique feature. Um, the the video as i mentioned will do in the other one but the summer winter is just basically this it's a bi-directional feature of fans um the fan any fan if you look at a fan which is around you right now and it's a conventional fan the fan will go anti-clockwise to give you a cool breeze um it doesn't matter i think it's i i, I mean the the only reason it's like that is because of how the blades are angled um but any fan goes um, anti-clockwise to give you a cool breeze. Um, in in our fans, you can also move them uh, clockwise direction. At least in 55 or 60 of the models, you can move them in the clockwise direction. And what it does is not only does it give you a breeze in the anti-clockwise, but in the clockwise, it reverses the entire airflow. So it behaves like a vacuum, how your exhaust fan is. It vacuums the air. Um, and then spreads it around from from above um, and the applications are um, when it's suppose it's cold outside or you're not feeling well or we've seen in couples where one wants a fan one doesn't what you do is you just want the air circulation because you're breathing out carbon dioxide it's always healthier to be in um, in a better in a more um, air circulated environment but you don't want the breeze on you that's when, uh, going back to when it's cold outside, so on and so forth, that's when you don't want the breeze on you, but you just want circulation. That's when you move it to clockwise, um, you know, and, you, and, um, and, and it creates a very, very lovely and luxurious atmosphere. Um, I know I've had guests at home and I've turned on the AC for a little bit and I've turned on uh, the fan in uh, clockwise direction. So the cool air comes down from the AC and instead of settling down, it's vacuumed up by the fan and spread in the, in the whole room. Um, and so that's something that uh, really makes a better atmosphere, makes a more efficient atmosphere. And uh, as a bonus, it's, it's also, um, uh, you know, it's a lot nicer on your electricity bill. Um, 
BLDC Motors. You know, BLDC Motors is actually quite a revolution in the fan industry. A BLDC motor to a fan is the same as LED is to your lights. How, you know, the LED market evolved, how incandescent bulbs changed to LEDs. We're going to see the same thing in fans. Um, you know, uh, a fan with, an, uh, with a BLDC motor, a brushless DC motor, uh, saves about 70 to 75 percent of your power um, while to your pocket that may only be roughly 1500 to 2000 um, per year uh, per fan um, if you look at it as an India related problem uh, India will save uh, roughly 2.8 megawatts of power every hour we're talking about you know something that's a, a power plant size uh, that can be saved, um, you know, and and it's going to it's going to make a big difference. I mean, it's basically the the answer to India's power problems, uh, and so the BLDC motor is going to be big in the in the upcoming years. Some cool stuff with fans are. Uh, we have a lot of uh, pedestal fans, tower fans, table fans, and we were the first ones to introduce pedestal fans that go 360 degrees. We have the humanoid that comes with a human sensor as well, where it senses the room for humans and smartly adjusts its oscillation based on where people are seated. 3D oscillating, uh, the fans not only oscillate horizontally, but vertically as well, and that could have its own um, applications to it as well. We have fans with a Bluetooth speaker integrated into it, so just whip out your phone or iPad or whatever, connect Bluetooth and play music from whatever source you or app you like. Uh, it's beautiful. The quality of the speakers are excellent. I know I have one at home, uh, but a lot of kids are um, attracted to this. A lot of family rooms, a lot of kitchens, um, and this particular one, Shimmer, comes with retractable blades, multicolor LED, and it has a, a beautiful, lovely shimmering effect to the housing of the fan itself. Reversible dual color blades. We have wooden fans uh, that come with a walnut finish on one side and a burgundy finish on the other. Uh, there are some modern fans uh, like Pluto that come with a black finish, a matte black on one side and a matte red on the other. Very lovely, modern, young looking fan. Multiple colors of LEDs now come with ambient lighting and uh, mood lighting and stuff as well. Uh, one thing that's missing out here is something called the sleep feature. If you've ever slept under the fan, and I know more of the world is adopting sleeping under the fan now because it's healthier, it's easier on the electricity bills, and overall it's just a lot nicer. You feel a lot better waking up in the morning. Uh, we have something called the sleep feature. Um, this is a remote, and what am I going to do? This is a remote. Uh, this is how to mess around with the summer winter feature. We have multiple speeds, we have sleep, we have light on and off, on and off from here. This is the button to our sleep feature. And um, what I wanted to show you with this uh, was that if you've ever slept under the fan and it's ever sometimes, you know, you get that initial relief and then sometimes you feel it's too high of a speed uh, that you lower it and sometimes it's too low so then you you increase the speed of the fan and you know, you find yourself toggling between a higher and lower speed, trying to find that sweet spot. What the sleep feature does is it increases the speed of the fan and then decreases and then increases again and then decreasing, decreases it, thereby giving you a lovely relief. And then after that, giving you a relief from the breeze itself. So then it alternates between the higher and lower speed. Um, and that's roughly about a minute and 30 seconds and a minute and 30 seconds again. And um, it's, it's something that uh, was a product of amazing design thinking. Uh, I know I've completely switched to it and it's uh, it's absolutely beautiful. You have to experience it to believe it. Uh, we've also started customize, um, customizing our fans. We have certain beautiful uh, things that we've done. Um, th these are not right. These are only um, pictures that we generated while we have worked with the JW Marriott. Uh, that is not something that we've done for them. Um, we also have, uh, you know, printing, screen printing on the domes of the fans. We also put pictures of families and kids images for, for kids fans on this. Um, we have some certifications which are nice. Um, you know, one of the challenges that we've had uh, for integrating fans in automation is that uh, AC motor fans integrate absolutely fine. 
but there is a certain hum that comes which decreases the lifespan of a fan. So while as a consumer, you may be okay with it, uh, we know there is a certain compromise on the fan itself. Uh, so that's a problem we had to solve. Not a burning problem, but a problem nonetheless. In DC motor fans, um, you know, the fans were never, um, you know, you could never control it by current fluctuation and thereby the only thing existing automation solutions can do is turn them off uh, and uh, turn them on and turn them off. Um, and so we wanted to solve that problem. Uh, people uh, today who who offer a solution to that problem um, offer a solution by taking out the receiver, the remote receiver and the driver in the fan. So the problem that arises then is the product brand cannot take a guarantee and hence it your your warranty goes inactive because they replace the moving parts of the fan inside. So what we've done is we've solved for all of these issues without taking the remote uh, redundancy as well. So we can now automate your fan by, uh, you know, and you can have input options for your remote Alexa, which is your Amazon Echo and app, as well as your smart switchboard, because I know uh, there are times where the help and stuff at home needs to use the fan. Now, if you have end-to-end -end automation at home, we can offer you an API and you can integrate it to your existing solution or what we have introduced as a part of smart art by fans art is um, is uh, offering the fan itself as a hub to offer you end-to-end -end automation because in existing automation what you need to do is you need an inspection you see how big your house is you have to figure out uh, your hub you need to buy that size of a hub so you have to invest in it you also need real estate space because a hub is the same thing like a router to your um, internet uh, like how a router is to your internet, the hub is to your automation. And so it takes floor space. So it's an investment as well. You need more wiring. You need to in introduce protocols that you've never heard of. So now in a very modular way, we we introduce the fan itself as a hub and we do it by the room. So, so your cost is cut by, to a lot. You don't need a hub. You don't need real estate space. You don't need to invest in a hub. You don't need inspections. So any room that you want to automate, just you know, add uh, add uh, one of our smart modules to a fan. And so this is something that's absolutely great because it can in, it can uh, be accommodated and integrated to your existing home automation, or we can give you an automation solution end to end um, from Fans Art as well. So this is something very very cool. Our motors, uh, the, which is the heart of the fan, is something that's absolutely, um, you know, superior. We have a lot more copper and a lot more purer form of copper in our motors that increases the longevity. You can use our fans for over 25 years without a problem. My guess is a lot, lot longer, but I guess we haven't been alive to test it ourselves for a lot longer. Um, and so, and so we definitely, um, you know, look for upwards of 25,000, which, which also justifies the cost, right? Not only do we have a superior product, but a superior looking product. And, um, and, and I mean, if you look at, um, at the fans that go on for so long and what we pay for all the other products around us, um, the, the cost to reward ratio of our fans are, are absolutely amazing. We've had some amazing clientele. You can see some amazing builders, some hotels, um, and uh, and some other guys as well. I'm gonna skip uh, one uh, slide because that shows some celebrities that have adopted us. We've been lucky enough to get some celebrities to adopt us, but we can't um, talk about them online because they're not brand ambassadors, they're just clients. Okay, so I'll go to this slide, which is uh, we've we've ended 2019 uh, with with 12 awards, and it's been uh, we've been lucky and fortunate. Um, this is our TV ad. I'll, we have a link to that as well. Thank you, folks. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Uh, and uh, please be corona free. I'm going to come out with more videos. This was definitely the longest one. I'm going to come out with very, very short uh, videos, maybe 30 seconds, one minute. Uh, this was probably the longest one. If you have survived here so far, I really appreciate it. I'm very grateful for it. I uh, just wanted to take, uh, take advantage of this downtime and kind of introduce fans out to the world. Uh, we're just eight years old and uh, we do believe uh, that fans are going to go a long way, DC motors are going to go a long way. 
um, design itself is going to go a long way and I really really hope uh, we're going to be on the forefront of this uh, I think one of the one of the slides that we did miss out on is um, is all our showrooms um, I'll come out with another video on that we are currently 72 showrooms across India and we do have five other partners across other countries uh, so in eight years we've been very fortunate uh, to have been adopted by the market we do have 21 other showrooms in the pipeline coming up uh, and some amazing partnerships. We are partnering up with uh, the likes of the future. With Future Group, we have about 10 little mini experience centers and we have some amazing new partnerships coming up. Uh, stay tuned for that. But any more information, um, do log on to www.fansartfans.com. Um, we do have an all India number nine zero double six zero double nine triple zero, or you can find us on Instagram, Facebook. I know Instagram is the cooler one nowadays, so um, feel free to reach out on those. And uh, most of the time, you can possibly find me on the other side of it. Um, or if not, we have an amazing team in place to do it. Um, thank you guys. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, do stay safe. Uh, do stay Corona free. Do stay smart. And uh, let's maintain uh, not only, uh, you know, solidarity amongst our, our country and countrymen and our neighbors and friends, our families, but also globally. I think uh, we will need global solidarity to sort of uh, kill this virus, um, you know, in the most efficient way. So stay safe and stay sane and um, hopefully we will see you when we see you. Take care, folks.